This one, the replay will tell you, but I love the run of Moy Moy. He ran straight up Berrigan and said, welcome back to the NRL. <laughs> right there. Sean puts his head down and holds on for grim death. And then the kick comes from Waterman. And it was a ripper too. Bert goes up and competes. Well, how you judge that to have come off Fisiahi, I'm not too sure. Look like come off Luke Burt. Let's have a look at this one. Where's the hand? Oh, you, you can't tell. Never mind. Back here, 8-0, and they're only 10 out from the Warriors lineup, Parramatta. Half hour almost gone. Two hands on the ball. See, that's the other thing you've got to do now. Your halfback can't just roll in with one hand. You've got to have two hands on the ball. See, sir, but two hands on the ball. See, there we go. And away come Parramatta. There's Keating, finds Robson. And there's Ryan Morgan, the youngster. He's bundled in by Louis Brown, Lance O'Hara, and Brett Seymour. Lost a little bit of ground. 13 up. Lasalo shapes to pass, doesn't, and meets Packer, Matalino, and Luck. Nine out. Parramatta. 8-0 they lead in the first half. Hindmarsh finds Mortimer. Comes back inside for Hayden. Moy Moy. With a destructive run that got stopped pretty quickly by the Warrior defence. Tackle three. Keating. Sweet ball to Mortimer. Comes back inside for Shackleton. Almost gets through the defensive line. Five out Parramatta. They come the short side. Hayne waiting. A little bit of a no look. It finds Hordu. Hordu running across straight in into the shoulder of Ben Martellino. Oh, we felt it's him blow out. I felt that one. Five and last for Parramatta. Good kick pressure. It's going up for Row Party. And it's into the hands of the Eels. And Jared Hay Hayne may have scored another. Wait for it. Try Eels. You have to say Parramatta's shape and their structure is first class. They've come from the far touch line. Hayne was involved giving an inside ball to Moy Moy just two plays before. And look where he finds himself. Way, way on the right-hand side on the end of a kick. Two plays later. Great football. Pass comes. The kick from Mortimer. Spot on. Height. Ropati's back there. That's where Manu normally is, remember. No protection at all from Brown or any of the other players. Uncontested in a way, in terms of no Warriors contesting the football. Was Jerome taken out? I don't think so. More intent from the Parramatta players to get on the ball. Suggestion that maybe Hayne hey, might have been offside. I don't think so when you look at it like that. In fact, it was probably a perfect run by Jared Hayne. Why Silly may have taken row party up. It doesn't matter, it's in the book. I like the work rate. It was Hayne when they set the structure up on the left-hand side here when they went out round the back and he actually fed, fed Moy Moy on an inside pass, would you believe? And for him to get back around to that area of the field, fantastic. 1,500 career points coming up for Luke Burt. Strikes it sweetly. And that's his sixth point for the night. And that will be 1,501 points for Luke Burt in his career. He passes Matt Orford now, who is sitting at 1,500 on the list. Moy Moy, 14-0, bang! Straight into Mateo. Packer over the top, looking for a quick play. 14-0, Parramatta lead. Inside the last 10 of the first half. The Warriors with work to do. The last time the Parramatta Eels were in Auckland, they got thumped 35-6. Different story a year later. Shackleton carries the ball into Rapira and also Simon Mannering. Very business-like effort from the Parramatta Eels. Matt Keating doing his job. And when I say business-like, Chuck, I'm suggesting there's a, there's a smell of a Melbourne influence about going through your plays nice and cleanly. 88% completion rate. Last tackle. They go to Hayne again. It's high and long. Oh, high lets it bounce. And the chase is good. Fisia, he better be quick. Now, has that come off of the chaser, which was Justin Hoddle? Yes, it has. So they breathe a sigh of relief, the fans, and the Warriors must be wondering what the heck is going on. The indecision of Lance O'Hire here not to take the football leaves Fisiahi all at sea, does his best to get in the road of a charging Horro. But just like the start of the game, some indecision there from Lance O'Hire, and it's happened again.
referees not mucking around. I've made the call. Let's just move on. So the Warriors get a penalty. They'll be breathing a little bit of sigh of relief. That's only the third one they've been got. It's 4-3 against them as Maloney looks for touch. Right on halfway, a little over halfway, you might say. The crowd very quiet and waiting for first Warrior points. As I'm sure is Ivan Cleary. Matalino. Nice, tidy run from Matalino over the 40 meter line inside the Parramatta half. Berrigan waiting, he looks up. A little short ball for Luck. Luck will just take the tackle and settle it down. Berrigan running now. Finds Seymour. Seymour puts his left hand out as a fend that runs into Justin Hall and also Daniel Mortimer. They come the short side again through Berrigan. Cuts back inside for Joel Moon. He finds Mannering. High ball for Sam Rapier. Couldn't but do too much, but gets hold on to it and take the tackle. They're in good field position now on four. 15 out. And a penalty. Now, what do you do? Do you want the points or do you go for the six? Let's wait for it. Will the conservative play come into mind? Right. Tackle with your foot. Go. They want points. Rapira winds up straight to Hindmarsh and Keating. Shackleton down low. Five out. Warriors looking for first points in round one at Eden Park. Berrigan running. Short ball finds Seymour. Seymour finds a high coming to the line. Rovay scores. Warriors are on the board in 2 11. The fans are happy and why shouldn't they be? being on the end of 14 points against their side, they are in, and it's Jerome Ropati filling on the left wing for Big Manu. So after Lance O'Hire come up with a couple of dubious plays, he plays a big part in this one. Getting the ball to Jerome Ropati was a big job. Wasali had come off his wing and he had to negotiate a pass under his arms. Here it is, right there. Jerome did his job centre, staying on the chalk is sometimes a hard thing to do, but he did it once converting from the wing nice finish as well numbers over, so after deciding not to take the two they come up with the right option two plays later and score on the corner boy oh boy, it was needed though points before half time precious could be just the tonic the Warriors need, the conversion attempt will be well over on the ASB stand touchline, it's about 22 out, and he's right on the touchline, James Maloney. James Maloney, though, a very, very good kicker indeed. His average last year, sitting around 75%, scored 188 points in total. So let's see what he's got in the tank just before halftime. it sweetly has he got the distance in the direction no he doesn't he's hooked it left so it's oh it's excuse over. me it went over i saw a flag go down oh he is in oh my goodness my apologies it's good 14 six let's go sideline how's manu v well we can tell you his boots are off so we won't see manu vatubai for the rest of this match at this stage they're treating him with ice there's a lot of swelling around the knee but when we saw Stu walsh walking before Stu walsh is synonymous with three letters that is ACL, it is a major concern for the Warriors. We will not see Manu this evening. Well, that's a real shame for Warrior fans, and more importantly, it's just a shame for Manu. But there's a game still to be played, and the Warriors are back in at eight points adrift. Yes, they did get the conversion. My apologies. I'll see the optometrist on Monday morning as Ben Martellino takes it into the defensive line, holds the ball high. All away on three. Luck for Mateo. Mateo walks into his old teammates. Going to take a while for him to get into his rhythm, probably. Berrigan for Luck again. Luck with a good carry to halfway. Gets up quickly. Berrigan finds Maloney on five. Kicks it low and hard for field position. And the Parramatta set will begin. 20 metres out, Stephen Kearney, studious as always. This time, though, as a head coach, normally you would see him sitting beside Craig Bellamy, who would be rather animated, but it would always be the studious Stephen Kearney. You seem to think that James Maloney was quite happy to find touch there, and I question that with one minute to go in the half. They scored some points, 
have got a bit of spirit up with them. They've ground out a pretty ordinary first half of football, the Warriors. And they want to put the ball into touch with one minute to go. Ivan Cleary got his game face on with his assistant coach, Tony Udo, in front of him. So time back on inside the last 30 seconds or so of this first half. And it's Parramatta leading 14-6. For Moy Moy, Fui Fui just loves the contact. Mattering over the top. Keating comes the short side for Justin Hordo, who has been impressive coming off the back of the scrum, the Parramatta Rookie of the Year last year. Gets up a little slowly, took a knock on his right shoulder as Shane Shackman backs into Berrigan Rapira. They're on four, Parramatta. They may just play this down. Hain takes a attack a right on halfway from Berrigan all over him. So they're five at last, slow play. Let's see where they've got the siren sounds. They're going to run it, are they? Burt kicks high and long. Who's waiting for it? There's two of them. It goes between the feet of Jerome Ropati. But that's it. Breathe a sigh of relief, Warrior fans. No more points scoring by Parramatta, but your team are in this game. At halftime after the first 40 in round one at Eden Park. Eels 14, Warriors 6.